In this episode, we talk about who in for talent science is best suited for. Let's go. Hi there, welcome to part two of a 10 part series on everything you need to know about talent science. I'm Devin Hennig with Select Hub, and I am here to give you a detailed tour and my honest, unbiased opinions about talent science, the platform, the pricing, the alternatives, and more. In this episode, we answer the question, who is talent science best suited for? Let's get into it. In4 Talent Science is best suited for organizations with a minimum of a thousand employees. More important than employee count, however, is how many people are currently in the roles that you're looking to build predictive models around. With predictive talent tools, the more data, the better. Talent Science is currently used most often in high volume positions. Here are some examples of those high volume positions that are typically hourly and which work best with Talent Science today. Healthcare. Nurses, housekeeping, janitorial services, medical assistants, surgical technicians, pharmacy techs, etc. Public sector, teachers, municipality workers, public safety officials, corrections officers, etc. Financial services, bank tellers, branch managers, customer support center roles, telesales representatives, etc. Hospitality, front desk, housekeepers, sales reps, kitchen staff, servers, hosts or hostesses, bartenders, etc. And retail. Hourly sales representatives, cashiers, store management, call center reps, etc. Infor has released research on the industries I just mentioned showing how their recommendations impact retention rates across more than 1.6 million employees. Across every vertical, there was a minimum 10% and up to 45% uplift in retention of employees with positive recommendations. Again, when it comes to predictive models, the more data the better. Talent Science's model requires a minimum of 40 people in a role, so if your largest volume position doesn't meet that threshold, it's hard to build a strong predictive model and show timely success. Before we go, a quick glimpse into the future. Infor has hinted at introducing leadership level benchmarking in early 2020. This would open up their end user audience and make the product available to more than just high volume hourly positions. Stay tuned. There you go, who talent science is best suited for from a company size and industry perspective. Next up, we cover who they're not suited for and start talking features. For the rest of this series, including the full review and in for talent science alternatives, check out the links in the description. If you're at the point you just wanna to talk to someone or see talent science in action, get a demo in the description or download our talent and HR resources. They're great if you're still in the research phase of your buying journey. All right, folks, that's it, that's all. Have a good one. Cheers.